Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I've got a bunch of news for you guys and some really interesting questions I need you guys to help me answer, which I'll be popping up in a second. But before we get into that, let's start off with today's item shop, which is King Crab. I think this is pretty cool. A crab, is it? I'm not too sure how exactly you say it because it's got a K in rather than a C. But you can see that this is a brand new skin in the item shop. He's really awesome. He comes with obviously a bat bling and there is a pickaxe set for him as well, which you can grab if you are going to be getting access to that. Don't forget to come and support me with code Postbox box part if you're considering buying any of these it's pretty hype it's pretty crazy obviously it's a brand new skin if you're a fan of it maybe cop it if you don't like it then maybe don't cop it it's really up to you guys but yeah really cool it does have an extra style as you can see and it is reactive at night as well so it glows at night so that's pretty cool i guess nice reactive style which you guys can uh, try out i guess at night so i think a lot of people will probably like that so yeah awesome awesome stuff on that side but with that being said, I've got one little question for you guys. So if you guys don't already know, I've got this little avatar on my account. Now, I'm thinking we need to come up with a name for him. And I have two names for him and any other suggestions, I want them in the comments, but I think this is what we're gonna go with. So I'm either gonna call him Postbox and I'm gonna be the Pat part, or it's gonna be Postbox Bob. Now I'm not too sure exactly which one's the best out of them two, but if you've got any other suggestions for my little friend here, leave them down below because you're gonna be seeing more of him in the future and you'll see why in the next few days or so. It's actually really, really exciting stuff. So get some hype going for that. Awesome. But let me know in the comments if you guys like the name and if you've got any other suggestions, please do leave them down below. It's also good just to get suggestions generally across the board for that. I'm gonna be getting suggestions in the future because I've got something really big planned for you guys, which you are gonna absolutely love. All right, with that out of the way, let's move on to some more concepts, which I've spoke about in the last video before we get into bigger news. So Fall Guys, we've all seen it. I'm tempted to get in it very, very soon and covering some of it for you guys. But right now, we do have a lot of concepts and a lot of collaboration stuff going on with this. And you can see, here are some concepts, credit down below to this, I'm reporting on for you guys, of a Clash Royale collaboration and a Brawl Stars collaboration with obviously the uh, classic Fall Guys game, which has come out recently. So it is already a classic. It is gonna be the first of its kind to do that sort of uh, battle royale in that kind of like party simulator. So it's uh, interesting to see that they want to collab with these. And they've also replied, Clash Royale and Brawl Stars and Clash Royale items that I play in my free time. I love them games, they're mobile games. I'm sure many of you have seen the ads on TV for them. They're probably the biggest mobile game out there of mobile developer. Really awesome to see that thinking about collab with them and they did get feedback on it. Could this see Fall Guys coming to mobile? I did see in yesterday's video, I said that Fall Guys needs to come to Xbox and mobile ASAP for it to hit its peak like Fortnite did. The game will not hit its peak if it does not do that. It'll just dwindle slowly into fit air. Does that even make sense? No. <laughs> Dwindle slowly into thin air. There we go. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, perfect stuff. And obviously, uh, yeah, I do think that Fall Guys does have potential. Let's see if it makes its way to mobile. Supercell could easily collab with them and do that for them. So, interesting stuff. And hopefully, we might see it. I don't know. I don't know. It would work on mobile if someone got it right. All right. Moving on from that, we also have this Oreo skin concept here. I absolutely love this one. I think this is a great concept. And it's like a Peely, but obviously, it's a milk bottle. And obviously, from uh, Obsessive there on Twitter. So, absolutely awesome. And obviously, really, really skin a uh, really cool skin uh, really really nice with the pickaxe being a straw and obviously the bathroom being a oreo with a selectable style so i'm liking it a lot his official name would be sergeant and cream so <laughs> just sergeant cookies and cream i just love it it's like so cool to see that this could actually be a thing probably not Fortnite I've never collabed with any food yet or any drinks or anything like that and I think when it comes to collaborations with like uh, consumable products that you eat it's quite hard to do because for example uh, food like Oreos may not be available worldwide in every single territory or country and obviously that's key for Fortnite as a company they want to put out something which is available everywhere like the Avengers was stuff out like films that you can watch everywhere so I don't think Oreos would come in for that reason but you never know you just never know I don't know if Oreos is worldwide I couldn't confirm it, but I know we have it in the UK I know it is in the US and I think it's in Europe as well but I think there will be some places where Oreos do not exist possibly I don't know who knows okay moving on to some more topics i know a lot of have been asking me to mention this like pat why aren't you mentioning the comic it's got more hd photos etc so here are a few hd photos you guys have been popping me obviously on my twitter and i think it's pretty cool and something we should generally all be excited for i do think that this if it does get added into the game it's actually quite exciting you know what i mean like seeing something like this would be uh pretty interesting you know having that sort of a uh, kind of 
comic put in the game with Thor, etc. I've already broke it down in a previous video what's in it, but yeah, seeing it in HD is awesome. It could be coming very, very soon. We can probably expect it in the next few days or so. I'll keep you guys covered on anything that happens with the storyline related to this, anything big regarding it, the event, etc. Even if this is leading up to the event and it's going to be an Avengers event this season, it's going to be pretty cool to see some clash between Thor and obviously the big boss there, which I've forgotten his name for right now because I don't really know the Marvel comics too well, but I do know the films pretty well. All right, moving on from this, I've got another quickly going back over to uh, Fall Guys. KFC Gaming also wanted to collab with it as well. So is the Fortnite collaboration, which we covered yesterday, going to be a thing? I don't know. And speaking of the Fortnite collaboration, which we covered yesterday, we have another one here coming in from Pine. He's actually gone ahead and created a awesome concept using Fall Guys on the... Uh, what was the skin called? It's called the elf skin and the other skin, which is the mint variant. And there we have it. I think if that was the case, it caused a lot of hype as well because the minty pickaxe hype was pretty pretty over overhyped. Does anyone else agree with me on that? Minty pickaxe overhyped? I'm pretty sure many of you do. I think it was mainly the clip bait that gave it the hype. A lot of clip baiters were using it for like fake giveaways and obviously fake hype and stuff. It was a cool pickaxe, but it definitely was overhyped in my opinion. I hardly even see it used, but maybe the minty elf could be a trend for four guys. Still, no response from Fortnite though on this collaboration. I know a lot of you guys are excited for it. All right, next little topic is a bit of a side topic, but something I wanted to mention is regarding Prime and Twitch for anyone that does have Amazon Prime like myself. It's actually been renamed to Prime Gaming. That's it, simple as. Anyone wondering Amazon Prime, the gaming side is being named Prime Gaming instead of Twitch Prime. So yeah, interested. I'm not a Twitch person myself, but you know, uh, it's cool to know that if you do watch any Twitch stuff and I just thought I'd let you guys know. Then the next little one I've got for you guys is coming in from a fish game machine frenzy now this is getting added into the game very very soon this will be a brand new ltm this will contain all of these fish here you can see on screen in this preview and obviously you're going to have to fish to gain a bunch of levels and obviously get, win the game now this is actually apparently going to be hosted at coral castle that's where the circle is going to end every single time and your objective will be to fish as many fish as possible i'm guessing the coral castle because there's water all around it and obviously the castle also has water in as well so it'll probably be the best area to end this unless you just simply put it in the sea which probably wouldn't be the best opportunity obviously you need to move a little bit rather than just swimming but yeah i think it's cool to see that actually coming into the game very very soon now the next little one i've got for you guys is another really interesting one one we should all be excited for it's coming from mango and obviously he's actually said a bit about some elements now i haven't covered this and this has been out for a few days but i thought i'd put it in today's video so this actually comes in with four elements currently exist fire water electricity and ice as we know we have fire and water currently available and obviously electricity isn't on yet and neither is ice so ice could stop fire but fire will also melt ice i thought that would be a bit bit confusing there but yeah it makes sense electricity and ice appear to be unfinished so it looks like we're getting two new elements uh if electricity did come in maybe we would see the addition of obviously the zapatron or something similar to that and also with ice we kind of already had it with the icy kind of snowball the weapon which allows you to kind of like skid around and obviously the snowy areas which are icy but it'd be nice to see more ice additions maybe to freeze up someone imagine throwing like an ice bomb which slows someone by half speed with everything including mats or imagine just shooting like a ice like Mr. Freeze from DC has a weapon which freezes you slowly. Imagine having something like that. I think it would be a very cool and very interesting to see. And one of the least anyway. I think a lot of people would like that. So yeah, I'm really excited for hopefully something like that getting added in very, very soon. Next little one I've got for you guys is coming in from Vast Blast. So the following LTMs have been hotfixed to the servers. These are currently stable but will likely appear very, very soon. You can see we've got Knockout Shuffle, Knockout Air Raid, a Rag to Riches, Tank Battle and the Getaway. So I have no idea what Tank Battle is. I have no idea what rag the rich cheese is and i know what the air raid is i guess it's just like the air standard air mode and the shuffle i have no idea these are all look like new ltms which i think a lot of people will be excited for so i don't know the exact description and what these are going to be but just keep an eye peeled on the fortnite servers because these will be coming very very soon something we should all be excited for okay anyone that owns the iconic skin obviously will have the scenario emote if you do have that it's now falling under the copyright music so you will not be able to do it if you're filming a video or streaming so it's a little bit of a shame hopefully uh the real reason behind this comes out very soon but yes the scenario emote has officially been copyrighted now in fortnite a little bit late kind of downside if you have any videos using this luckily i didn't own the iconic skin i wasn't really a fan of it i love the design of it and stuff but it just really wasn't for me at the time and i kind of learned it's a bit late now but 
I personally have better skins that I prefer to use over this in my opinion but obviously everyone has their own opinions on different skins fine and finally the final little topic I've got for you guys is coming in from more information about the samurai scrapper bundle so it's rumored, rumored this will come in in season four and apparently if you don't already own the metal team leader now is your time to buy it because it will be going out of the shop very very soon so make sure if you are considering it and if you do want it go and get it and save the world there is discount on it right now or especially in the UK I know there is but I'm not too sure about in the US but yeah go and cop it with code postbox pat if you're getting it thanks for watching today's video smash the like smash the subscribe hope to see you guys in future content and once again this is postbox pat signing out